the Emissary. An official mission becomes a personal matter when a Klingon from Worf's past boards the Enterprise. The Enterprise encounters an emergency signal, and Starfleet orders them to pick up an envoy, basically inside of a box, in the middle of space. They beam the probe on board while they are going warp 9, but before, they had to come out of warp entirely to transport anything. Oh, that's right. The envoy turns out to be a Klingon named Kalar, and she is a former love interest of Worf's, which makes him uncomfortable. She's played by Susie Plaxon, who previously was Dr. Selar from The Schizoid Man. And she's way better as Kalar. She's a little bit over the top, which I've come to expect from this show, but she's at least an interesting character. Her sense of humor isn't really funny either, which she does point out to the other characters, but that doesn't make it okay. Her mission is to help the Enterprise to retrieve an old Klingon ship sent out during wartime whose crew is about to wake up from cryosleep and will be in range of Federation outposts and they're afraid that they're going to attack the outposts because they're not aware that the war is over. That whole idea of the Klingons not being aware of how things have changed since then reminded me a lot of the book The Forever War by Joe Haldeman, which is about soldiers traveling through hypersleep, waking up and finding out that the conflict is very different from what it was when they went in. That sounds pretty intellectual. Yeah, you know, I can reach into my bag of intellectualness. It reminded me of the first Austin Powers movie. <laughs> <laughs> Kalar believes it's a waste of time because... Klingons of that era were raised to despise humans. We'll try diplomacy, but I promise you, it won't work. And it's becoming clear, this episode's going to be a wharf one, but those have been good in the past. Kalar is resentful of her Klingon side, and Klingons in general, and she feels she has to keep that part of her locked up inside. Kalar decides to take out her frustrations on the holodeck by playing through Worf's calisthenics program. It's the same program that we saw before with those weird monster guys. And Worf is wound up pretty tight too. Sir, considering the unknown elements we are about to face, Lieutenant, I order you to relax. I am relaxed! Worf joins her, and she's not very impressed with this holodeck program until... Level 2. And they kind of fight a little bit, so that leads to them banging. But then there's a commercial break, so we miss the best part. <laughs> <laughs> and then Worf tells her that they are mated. Worf wants to continue Klingon custom and bond for life with Kalar, but she's not having it. The fear is that the sleeping Klingons may already be awake, so if they don't get there before they wake up, it seems they'll have no option but to destroy them. And I didn't mind the actual conflict kind of took a backseat to Worf and his relationship troubles, because it was good character development stuff. Well, there's something wrong with the rest of you. You're not even looking at me. I'm familiar with your appearance. Worf, who is increasingly becoming the only character on the show with any intelligence, comes up with a plan to fool the Klingons without destroying them, and it works. He makes the Klingons think that he and Kalar are the people in charge of the Enterprise. Kalar is going over to the Klingon ship to help things out over there. Worf and Kalar reconcile, but she still leaves. And they both express their true feelings for one another. I will not be complete without you. The Emissary, overall. This was a good character episode with an interesting conflict, even though they didn't really focus on it that much. Kalar was a little bit over the top, but overall it was a good episode. I would give it a B. I also gave it a B. The writers seem to have more success writing and expanding Worf's character than they do for other characters, and each good episode allows greater depth to be explored for the next one. It's a good snowball effect. And while Kalar is not my favorite guest character by any means, the chemistry she shares with Worf was good. 